I'm Juliana Ferrero, and this is Artist Talks. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with two of the artists participating in the Space Between Us exhibition at Bailey Contemporary Arts. They are Yoki Yakir Aven and Michelle Dermont. When we put out the call to artists, we didn't know what type of work uh, we were going to get, which is what makes this type of exhibitions really exciting. And so I want to ask you, um, what made you submit uh, the type of work that you submit? What was the enticing thing that makes you go for this exhibition? Uh, so let's just start with Michelle. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Well, you know, when I read the call for artists um, and the theme behind the work of uh, the exhibition, I recognized that the theme aligned to the inspiration behind my pieces. So I submitted the pieces because they are inspired by curiosity, optimism, um, just taking risks and exploring. So I said, you know, these are great and I think they'll, be, they'll fit well with the theme behind the exhibition. How about you, Yoki? Well, when I was thinking about the exhibition, I was thinking about the astronauts. And I was placing myself in that position of being in the space and what would I feel, even though it's not realistic. But my imagination was towards this. So um, about the, um, the um, courage and the big task they are taking, and that's what, uh, that what led me to do this work. It's interesting, uh, your pieces, to me, they're on the edge of abstraction, and I, I mean from, from both of you in a way. Uh, Yoki, your piece compartmentalize emotions, in a way put me already inside on the ship in a way. I'm thinking about the compartments. I'm also looking at the what it will feel to be in space and having all these emotions, maybe longing for a home. Um, you're far away from your loved ones. Um, would you want to talk with us a little bit more about that, yeah. that piece and maybe yeah, if sure. I'm on point or maybe I'm completely off? <laughs> no, no, you're right. I was thinking about their emotions while doing such a huge, going on such a huge mission. And I was thinking about the fact that probably what they are doing is compartmentalizing their emotions, uh, the, the, the missing home, missing kids, missing wife, and not being uh, in their regular, uh, um, um, in the regular space and going on such a huge mission with um, heavy <laughs> responsibility. So I, I thought, I felt like they need to compartmentalize their emotions for that period. Um, later on, it also uh, worked together with the situation we are in, but that's, that's, another thing. I mean, that's what led me to do this piece. The other piece, and both of them are abstract uh, or tending towards abstraction, the other piece was vast and also it was how materials work in different conditions. Yes, and so um, Michelle, uh, looking at your pieces, I mean, I've seen somehow your trajectory, how when we met the first type of pieces that I was seeing, they were bi-dimensional, two-dimensional. And what I was really interesting and I love about your pieces in the show is that in a way they are jumping out of the canvas. You know, we have the book and they are going into a different plane somehow. And so I'm really loving how you're taking risks and really playing with your materials. Uh, but I was really interested also in seeing the piece that is a little bit more abstract as well. So do you want to talk about the pieces on the show? Yes. Um, so I, the two pieces I have, the first is called uh, Half Full. And um, it's uh, the short for the glass is always uh, half full. And it represents optimism. 
space, as I've said, represents um, just time, curiosity, optimism, there's endless possibilities. And um, since I've actually arrived in South Florida, I, my work has grown tremendously from 2D, a 2D aspect to 3D aspect, and it also represents my taking risk and um, being uh, just looking at the endless possibilities and maybe you know, the growth that, you know, the areas that I can grow in and I have applied it. So in terms of half full, it aligns to the space itself, the, the time travel, curiosity, looking at um, just wondering what's out there and the possibility of growth and exploration. Um, my other piece, sim similarly lost for words, that's a lot more 3D really coming off the canvas. And um, that represents research, experiment. Um, it also aligns to my journey here in the US as, a, as an immigrant where there's always, I'm always looking for possibilities, navigating the system, ways to survive, um, and just being optimistic that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Um, so that's where my work ties into this exhibition and ties into the theme, the space theme. And it also represents just my growth of um, being here and being exposed to the creative world as well. It, it, push, it pushed me to challenge my technique and you know, my creativity. And I, I think it's great that you're talking about optimism because as we watch the news and we see the numbers right now that we're all affected with COVID-19, I mean, we can only uh, be optimistic. And so um, how has this experience of the lockdown and being affected by, um, how do you say, I mean, COVID-19, it really changed the way we perceive the world and how we behave. And in a way, if you look at the pieces that you submitted, it has uh, um, changed the space between us. So how have you, how have this experience that we're currently living in affected your body of work, your art making, and your thoughts about the pieces in the show? Um, Michelle? Um, how has COVID-19 affected me? Well, I'm working more out of my, my kitchen and living room <laughs> air. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I, I think, you know, when I, I've been creating some new pieces as well, and I'm looking at, yes, the pieces in the show represents optimism, so it ties to the current situation. And it also transcends this situation to the next. So, you know, we have to look at, you know, this too will pass, and there's only time and opportunity, and, you know, taking on the risks and challenges um, that this time, you know, comes with. My latest pieces really have looked at, okay, you know, my re-examining my life, where I am, where I want to go, growth, and looking at what were my, you know, my goals, you know, and how can I adjust in order to meet my goals. It's creatively in life in general. So, you know, you'll see in my work that my emotions, my thought process are, currently reflected in my, my latest pieces. So it all ties together and your work represents who you are and your emotional state at the time. So, you know, there's gonna be uh, some interesting pieces that I'll, I'll be uh, debuting um, throughout this pandemic and even at the end of this pandemic that aligns to what, you know, your current situation. Can't wait, can't wait to see what's coming up there. And how about you, Yoki? Well, uh, just before the pandemic, I was working on my big solo exhibition. It was supposed to be in the Broad County Main Library in Fort Lauderdale. But then uh, the pandemic happened and the exhibition was postponed. And uh, I uh, also received a grant for this exhibition. So uh, I looked for another venue and my exhibition, my solo exhibition, very restricted one, but still a mini uh, retrospective solo exhibition is right now at the Frank uh, Gallery in Pembroke Pines. 
And thank you. And uh, so I was quite busy. And when I'm working usually in Studio 18, that's my studio. But the studio closed for like two months. So I was working at home um, and looking for a, a, a way to continue my work and still to deal with the situation and still be optimistic as I am always, because that's my nature <laughs> and also the nature of my work. Um, I found a... Um, um, I reconnected to family photos, to childhood photos, and I started to work with those at home. And I, like two years ago, I already created the work with those photos that I called the memory drawers. And this one, I uh, started to work at my home studio. I, were, I continued the same spirit of work, but differently inside boxes, because I love boxes. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, it's like a book, when you open it, you have the cover, you have the back, and inside, when you open it, there are also images. And I deal with that also looking for emotions, for what, for what I feel towards those memories because not all the memories are great but sometimes you can modify the memories so um, I was working with that now the studio is open I'm back in studio 18 working and I'm yeah I'm working probably this not probably most certainly the situation influences my work I'm always dealing with emotions inside my work, even when it's abstract. So um, that's how I look at it. I'm staying uh, optimistic and positive, and I'm hoping my work inspires this optimism. And so as we reach the conclusion of our artist talk, I want to ask you both, besides the artwork selected in the exhibition, can you share some of the other creative uh, projects that you will pursue? Uh, Michelle? I, I'm currently, well, I've completed two um, other pieces during this whole pandemic. Um, my work, uh, the medium I use is very unique. So it's made from yarn and acrylic on canvas. So I basically sketch the image and then I use yarn to bring the image to life in either 2D and make, um, lately 3D forms. So um, I have recently completed a couple pieces. One is called Navigating the System and it's inspired by just surviving, figuring out, adjusting to this current situation. How are we surviving here? How are we plan to survive? And the other one is called uh, Del Delusion of Shelter. And it alludes to, you know, this perceived security and safety. Um, however, you know, what do you consider to be safe? And how, you know, what do you, you know, how do you, you know, what do you consider to be secure? Um, so those are, how, you know, the pieces that I've created um, recently, and I'm currently working on another piece called um, Blurred Vision. And that, that goes to, into reassessing yourself, reassessing what your goals are, how do you adjust to this current, current pandemic, and how, how has the pandemic affected your vision, your foresight? Um, so, you know, a lot of my latest pieces really, you know, has been influenced by my emotional state, the current situation, looking at how do I survive this pandemic? And also having um, faith that things will get better and we'll also, you know, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. So those are what I've been working on and um, you'll see them soon. And Yoki, how about you? What other creative projects do you have? Yes. <laughs> um, 
usually my work is uh, representational. Um, it's usually it's portraits, it's still life, it's uh, also mixed media, and some of it is sculptural. It's, I think it's universal and uh, it doesn't have any sp particular specific uh, cultural background. Um, it's, I leave it open to interpretation um, and um, it's an invite mostly to connect. So I am, this is my work usually. Right now, I work in the same spirit. It's not. Uh, it, it's nothing that that I changed. I look at it the same way, and um, I apply. Since all the exhibition, most of the exhibition now are online, so I apply to different um, online exhibitions, and with this work, with the same spirit. Um, it it it's harder now because the, there is no in-person exhibition and no in-person uh, viewer uh, that can see the work in person and maybe want to purchase it. So hopefully the online uh, platforms uh, will will leave enough space and enough. Um, um, enough possibilities for the viewer to purchase, to help the artist, because I think it's very important now to support the artist. Um, yeah. Well, I want to thank Michelle and Yoki for joining me today. And for those watching at home, I will see you in the next edition of Artist Talks.